Hey y'all. Okay, so I just got the shower and I was thinking like, I'm going to film, but what video am I going to film today? So I figured I'll do something totally different. So this is going to be a day in the life of my quarantine life, even though it's like basically the norm to me, because remember I wasn't, um, I have been out of work since June and it's about to be June again. So it's going to be a whole year that, um, I was out of work, but, um, I started working again in April. Was it April? Yeah, like the end of March, training end of March um, to April. But my job is part time, so I haven't been to work in three weeks because the locations they was giving me were too far. So I explained to them that I couldn't get to those locations, so they took those locations off. So I just had to wait to um, until they give me locations that's closer to me, which they did. Um, so I work tomorrow. But I haven't been to work in three weeks, so this is basically what I do. Um, not every day, but this is basically what I do. Now today, I have to make my bed. So what we're going to do, as y'all can see, my bed is a hot mess. Y'all usually see the YouTube and subscribe to Lou and all that. So I'm going to show y'all how I make up my bed. So let me just do that. <laughs> it's going to be weird because I'm so used to being right here. But we're going to work with it. Let me see. My trash can is away. Y'all know I hate my trash can to be shown. Anybody else like that? I hate that. So this is the new sheets that I'm putting on. I'm going to move my phone over here. I'm going to move my remote, remote control. Take all my comfortable things, which I have two. All these pillows, y'all. At this time, I should speed up this part, right? Let y'all know. <laughs> I already explained it. I'm not going to keep on explaining it. Because y'all don't seem to care anyway. Either way. So. The reason why I keep tissue right there because I ran out of my um, box of, I mean, toilet paper. I ran out of my box of tissue. And y'all know I have allergies really bad. So I have to have tissues. You starting to act up already. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, did I break it down? I broke it out earlier today. Y'all, the flash sheet, I really don't care for because all I do is lay on top of it. I never get under the flash sheet. <laughs> Ever. Unless um, I'm hot. And I don't want to be under a blanket and I'll just get a little flip sheet.
dark from here. So maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's nice today. Alexa, what's the weather for today? Alexa, what's the weather for today? Currently, in Philadelphia, it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect clouds and showers with a high of 61 degrees and a low of 43 degrees. Mm -hmm. Hope you have a good Monday. Thank you, you too. <coughs> but you see how she didn't answer me on the first one, but y'all know when I don't even be talking to her, she just come out and bust, bust in talking. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. But this time she couldn't answer me on the first one. Dry your sheets. <laughs> hey, Prince. Hi, Princess. I'm about to feed y'all. That's another thing we gotta do. Where's my other pool face? I'm sorry, Prince. Did I grab the number one? Hmm. That's weird. I thought I did. Too. Yeah, I'll be right back. I thought I grabbed both of my pillowcases. Got it. <laughs> so I didn't grab it. Okay. Now this one, I have two pillows. Only because they went flat. And I don't want to get rid of them just yet because they're still new. Fairly new. And they're um my hypoallergenic pillows that I really need and they really do work. Ooh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. So I'm not getting rid of them just yet. So I just double them up. So it'll just make one big pool. Cool little trick if y'all didn't know. Cool little tip trick. First with the shams. Oh, my camera, my camera there. It's too windy for it. Oh man, I don't even know where the pack went. All right, I'll find that. Okay. Struggle of making up my bed. Then I like to put this comforter first. Let me make sure it's right there. This comforter first. And my comforters, they actually just got washed. Then this one. Make sure the lines is right. That's what I'm looking at the lines, y'all. I might go well just say Prince, this you this is mainly his blanket. I fold it. Once he's the only one that really sleeps with me. Yeah. Put it right over here. And if his blanket is not on here, he has the fit. Then I move it over. Move my bed over. Then I start to gather my poles. Beer. Oh, dress. Alright. This one I can put right there. I usually just fill them where I want them to go. Almost famous. We almost famous. Right there. Then sometimes, sometimes I don't. I flip that part. And then I usually grab my YouTube and subscribe because these are the only foods that don't um stay on my bed. These stay on my bed. And I usually just set them up like so. And that's just how I make up my bed. So now I'm about to um haven't eaten. Um about to get make me a smoothie, feed the cats, well feed the cats first, because they're not gonna have it any other way. 
Okay, y'all, I already got the smoothie set up. I put the spinach in already. Um, I'm going to put my banana in. I have um, a mixture of strawberries and um, frozen bananas also, but I figured I'd just use these bananas first and then open that bag with the frozen strawberries and bananas. We got blueberries. Only a little bit left in here, but we're not going to use them all this year. That's enough. Then, what we got? Strawberries. Ooh. I'll close that better. I have my protein powder. Just that much. Dump that in here. This is my fork. I have green superfood and it is two servings of vegetables. Let me make sure this one is and it's a detox and digest. Um is it? I believe so. My allergies is acting crazy today, y'all. Yeah, I don't see it, but I know it is. It's, I know the other one was. It's plant-based, no, um, I mean, non-GMO, no sugar added, gluten-free. And I don't see it, but it's definitely two servings of vegetables. That's weird. The other one, cause y'all, the last time I did a smoothie, um, making a smoothie with y'all, I had the other one, and it was two serving. I don't see it on here, but I believe it's two servings of vegetables. I got this from Amazon. They they range from eighteen to twenty dollars a jar, and the jar is small. It lasts really long though. And then. I feel like I don't have enough fruit and vegetables. These are usually filled all the way up to here. I'm gonna put some more strawberries. I'm gonna just use the whole bag since I got um more in the freezer. Then I don't like to start off with a lot of milk because I like my smoothie thick. So I like to do it like right there. Oh, and this is a new blender. <laughs> y'all remember the last time when I showed y'all my old blender? It cocked out and I had to get a new one, but I love that blender. You can never find a good blender like that anywhere. That blender was old. So this one works good. It's big, but I mean, it holds a lot, but you know. So I start off with putting it on fruit smoothie. <laughs> Sometimes I'll put it on blend and just let it go. I like it to be real thick. I like everything to be blended in. I don't want no chunks of anything. So that's how I do it. But I know y'all don't want to hear all that noise. So I'll be back. And I Okay, y'all. Then I take it out. I do it over the sink because when I pour it, it's in a rundown. And that's what I hate. My other one used to do that too. And I just... This is my Minnie Mouse cup that my pretty girl K got me for my birthday. One of the mini, mini gifts that her and her mom got me. I use these cups every day. I use this cup every day. And um, this one is for my tea. I use this. 
So I might come back later and um, show y'all how I do my tea again because it's different. It's usually different every time. Alright, so I just wipe this off. Wipe it off and I let the excess run here. And then I'll pour my mama cup also. But that's basically how I do it. I'm going to let y'all see me try it. I make the best smoothies. No lie. Yeah, I don't know my got me this too. My friend Nick. So good. So good. I love smoothies. So good. <laughs> mm. Nice and cold. No ice because everything is frozen. I don't put ice in it. I don't like ice in my smoothies. So good. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all. Now I'm about to make some coffee. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So I open my carrot. Um, I'm going to do the hazelnut cream, I believe. Creamy hazelnut. Put it in there. Close it. And just swap chica. And then I'm using hazelnut um, creamer. Coffee creamer. We got this carrot from um, Target. It is a space saver carrot, so it doesn't take up space at all. It works great. And we got the um, drawer from here also. I be going crazy buying um the K cups. It smells so good. That coffee is strong. Um, I'm gonna be using this. All right, once it stops, I let it go, go, go. Then take it. Tea for Tasha. <laughs> All right. Then pour. I don't add any sugar. Because the creamer is enough. And just that much. I don't like my coffee too. Um, light. And then I just stir and I drink. Alright, I'll be back y'all. Okay y'all, I'm back hours later. Still looking a mess. I didn't have much going on today. So after I make my tea, I'm going to show y'all how I make my tea again. And what tea bags I'm using today. But I just want to show y'all this trick that I saw on... Um... um TikTok, but I want to show, let me, I don't want to record it on Facebook too. I want to record for TikTok and Facebook because I didn't do it yet, but I want to show y'all this trick and I'm going to show y'all the other ones I did, but let me see if I can record on uh, both. I'm going to have to stand back. Ooh, let me see the quality. Let me see. I had to clean off my screen. Let's see. The quality look much better on that camera, which is weird. Because this is supposed to be a better quality. So let's see. Alright. Um, let me see how I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alright, y'all. This is like behind the scenes. Okay. So, let me record. Let me get my intro to um, Facebook or TikTok or wherever it's going. Okay, y'all. So, I'm recording for my YouTube channel. And I'm recording for Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. So, I'm going to show y'all the trick that I saw on TikTok that I wish I had known years. So, you get you a cereal box. You fold each of the corners down right here. I want to make sure I got both cameras. So, you fold right here. Let me make sure this is enough. And then, you push one. Well, I'm ripping it. You push one flap down. I hope. Both cameras can see. You bend the sides like this. Each corner you bend. Like so. Bend each corner. And then you just push this flat in. Ugh. Camera shaking. Sorry, YouTube. Camera shaking. All right. Push it in. Yes, I know I look a mess. <laughs> and voila! Look at that! 
the best way to close a cereal box. Oh, this one I can't. Best way to close a cereal box. Who would have known? Who would have known? Thanks for the person that showed me this on TikTok. She showed all of us. This is so decent. Now look at all, all the ones I did so far. I did these. My mom argued me up and down that these came like that. This box has been up here forever. I'm like, this box did not come like this. And I had to show her how I did it. And she still didn't believe me. Because she said this looked like a um, Chips, of, Chips of, um Hoy bag. Sometimes they have it like that. I'm like, lady, I did not. I mean, it did not come like that. I did this one. <laughs> I mean, y'all know a lot of people um, in the comments was like, on TikTok, they was like, well, what's the point? Do it, um, do anything? I'm like, to myself, everybody was in the comments like, yeah, you know how the box keep coming open. I don't know if some people have a problem. And the person was like, well, I never had that problem. Well, I do. It's this. Look how this box is like lifting some. This box be lifting some. I'm going to do all of them. This box, we love cereal. <laughs> this box, I had the tape. And y'all remember this. I did a um, taste session on my YouTube channel and the box kept lifting up. I had to take this one, so I'm going to do this one. Um, it's a lot of my people doing it. I did this one. And it just looked more, it just looked neater. It looked neater. So, that's the trick, y'all. So, you just fold it. I hope I demonstrate it well. And then, there you have it. <laughs> okay, my water is ready, so... Let me just show y'all what teas I'm using. Let's start with the cranberry apple zinger. It's pretty good. It got like a cinnamon feel to it. I really don't care for cinnamon, but this is good. So let me rip this off. Put one. Just using my cup. All right. Put that there. Then we're going to do the jam and lemon ginger. Oh, last one. Trashy goo, so that's trash. Um, what else? I'm, oh, no, it's not. I think I have something under here. Is it? Do I? Oh, no. That's trash. This one, I have something under here. Because I didn't have anywhere to put it. So, this is the last one of this. My weightless um, organic tea. Okay. Ooh, the thorn thing is up there. All right. Got that one. Trash. Then, um, out of the fruit tea sampler, my favorite one is. Wild berry zinger. So I'm going to be using it as well. And then I'm going to go in my cabinet and get a um, green tea bag. So y'all see how many tea bags that is so far. But look how big this cup is. But even if I was using my Pisces cup, I still do the same thing. I can. I'm not a one or two tea bag, two one or two tea bag type of gal. Even when I um get teas a tea from um, Dunkin' Donuts or something. I asked them, can they put like two to three tea bags in there? Okay, y'all. The reason why I didn't get the whole box is because it's a really big box. So, I just... Regular green tea. Um, now, we're going to put our sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. Then, I grab my... Which one is this? This is the apple cider vinegar with lemon and cayenne. Shake it a little. Pour some of that in there. I got this from Walmart. Online. And then, look at this little bottle. I always get um, apple cider vinegar with the uh, mother. This is the organ organic raw apple cider vinegar with the mother from Amazon online, of course. Just that much. And some honey. One, two. I get 
100% lemon juice. Just a little bit. Just that much. Then I get my water, of course. Pour, pour, pour. And try not to bust your tea bag. So that happens a lot. If you pour directly on the um, tea bags, it'll bust. And that's just the worst one ever. So I fill it up almost to the top. And then I stir. Then when I go upstairs, because I don't have any down here, um, I'm going to put some hauls in here. I put two hauls in. So if you have a sore throat or your throat just feel itchy or you think you're coming with a cold or you have a cold, put some hauls in there. It'll open up everything. Or your sinuses is closed. It'll open up everything. But even if I don't feel sick, like I still like that whole taste in there. I still put it in there. Especially when my allergies acting up, which is today. Then I take one lemon, drop it in. And I take, my mom hate when I cut the lemon so big. She cut them so small. Take another lemon and just drop it in. And then I add the rest of my water. Right there. Okay. All right. Push it down a little. And then, voila. And this cup, this tea will stay hot for like a couple hours. So if I don't want to drink it right now and I don't have to, it stay hot for a couple hours. Then I got my short. And voila. So that's it for today, y'all. If I come back with any, I doubt if I do. I'm not doing anything else but finish watching um, uh, Love and Hip Hop and um, T.I. and Tiny um, Family Hustle. And I watched the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta um, reunion today. Oh my God, it was so messy. But um, let me know if y'all like videos like this and I will do my... I feel like I don't do video videos like this because I don't really have a big following. Um, that many subscribers that people might probably don't want to see this content. I know I get my most views and stuff when I do um, fashion hauls and try-ons. That's what y'all love the most and that's what I came... Um, that's what my channel really started out was like hauls and stuff, but you can see everything on my channel. But I feel like that when it's a big following, y'all are basically, people will watch whatever that person put out. So I don't know if y'all like stuff like this, but it could be me. Maybe y'all do like stuff like this. So y'all let me know if y'all like videos like this and I will do more. I can do this every day if y'all like videos like this, but I just feel like that it won't do good. Like people won't want to see it and YouTube will basically push this content down the drain because if they see people not watching it, they're not going to promote it. Now, my fashion stuff, they'll promote that because it's getting views and stuff. But if this video don't get views like that, they're going to push it. they like, people ain't watching it. So, there's no need for it to be on um, YouTube. So, if y'all like videos like this, let me know. Like um, like this video if y'all like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you know when all my videos are coming out. Share this video so someone else can see how I make my smoothies, how I make my tea, and that um, cereal box trick. That was so decent. Let me know if y'all knew about that. Because TikTok taught me a lot. I learned a lot of stuff on TikTok. And I didn't even want nothing to do with TikTok, but I learned a lot of stuff on TikTok. So this was a day in my quarantine life. But um, leave me a comment let me know how y'all like this video. Until next time, love you guys, y'all. Bye, my fashion dolls. Bye, y'all.